Remember, a few bubbles is not a problem, okay? However, here's air. Here come the air. It's gonna take a minute. It's gotta be fed through the line, sucked up by the pump, so it's starting. There you go. There's air. Notice your flow meter. Big time see it, right? Flow meter's bouncing with the air. I'm gonna fix the air leak. Now remember, if you fix the air leak, it doesn't go away right away because you filled up the fuel filter housing and such with air, okay? So the air is gonna be there for a little while. Now it's gone mostly, okay? So there's another charge of air, okay? Now we're looking fairly good. Once again, I'm gonna give it some air, air leak. The reason we're doing this is it's a problem, okay? There's your air. Not a big leak. <laughs> Got no fuel leaking either. There's the leak gone. So as you see, the flow meter works extremely well. The nice thing about this flow meter is we do see quite a few of these Duramaxes with air leaks. And the bottom line is if you pull a hose or line off, you'll see some air leaks like this, okay? It'll go away, okay? If you see some, excuse me, light bubbles and you're not getting a big dance on the flow meter, you're pretty decent. It's just a restriction causing a little bit of a, what looks like an air pocket. This is air still coming out after I fix the air leak. Now we're clearing up pretty good. Those little bubbles are fine. Okay? That's the way you check a Duramax system here for those troublesome problems. Okay? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shut this truck down and we're gonna go ahead and get back to a slide. We're gonna talk about the high pressure system. We beat up the low pressure system pretty good, I think.